in the metrology and measurement subjects multiple choice questions on unit 2 linear and angular measurements are presented in this video question number 1 auto collimator is used to check roughness flatness angle automobile balance it is used to check the angle let us discuss the principle of auto collimator so auto, auto collimator consists of a light source and a collimating lens the collimating lens is placed at the focal distance place in the focal distance of the lens and the and the rays are made parallel okay, made parallel to the plane reflector plane reflector is a work, work piece whose angle is to be determined and the and when the plane reflector is perfectly at 90 degree or perfectly uh, it is uh, having the angle of 90 degree and then the rays are reflected back again to the source okay as shown in figure a see the figure b in figure b o is a actual source that is o is similar to figure a in this case there is a collimating lens and the plane reflector is perfectly at uh, 90 degree uh, so it is reflected back to the same place o mm, but when the plane reflect reflector is deflected by an angle theta okay as in figure b it is reflected by an angle theta so the reflected rays are reflected back to 2 theta okay and it reaches a place o dash so uh, this is a uh, and the distance is uh, distance o o dash is measured by the formula 2 into f into theta okay and f is the focal length and theta is the angle and uh, o o dash the distance can be measured by means of a micrometer is a use of a microscope uh, so from this you can measure the angle theta so in the if a parallel beam of light is projected from a collimating lens and a plane reflector is set up normal to the direction of the beam plane reflector is kept at 90 degree the light will, will be reflected back along its own path and it will be brought exactly at the position of the light source the reflector is plane reflector is tilted through a small angle theta parallel beam will be reflected through twice the angle and will be brought to a focus on the same plane as a light source but to the side of it the image will not coincide but there will be a distance equivalent to 2 f theta that is o o dash equal to 2 into f into theta f is a focal focal length between the the distance between the light source and the collimating lens uh, so so the 2 f theta from this theta can be measured so in series uh, explained one more time illumination this is a light source and the um, and the light beam passes through the object reticule there is a beam splitter and this red color the red color light rays yeah, have been uh, this is a collimating lens or objective lens and it is uh, passed through the collimating lens and the light rays are made parallel and it and it uh, and it uh, hits a plane reflector which is a red color and it is reflected back again and it reaches a image plane okay and the same path it travels through the same path and but when the mirror surface is deflected by an angle theta that is in the blue color it is deflected by an angle theta the light rays are reflected by an angle 2 theta okay it reaches uh, another distance it reaches a side of it and the distance is o o dash is given as a d so o o, o o dash or d equal to 2 into f into theta f is the distance between the light source and the and distance of collimating length and o o dash can be measured using microscope and from this you can measure the angle of the surfaces so auto collimator is used to check the angle so answer is c the number of slip cages in a set is 87 45 103 so slip cages so answer is d all the sets are all the sets are available okay slip cages so slip cages are rectangular blocks okay as shown in in this uh, figure they are of rectangular blocks they are of 10 cross 30 mm cross section 10 cross 30 mm cross section 
they are made up of hardened alloy steel so one slip cage can be combined together with another slip cage by the process called ringing so in the ringing process no air gap is uh, not allowed between two slip cages by just rubbing one slip cage over another slip cage uh, both will be stick together both the slip cages one or more slip cages can be uh, stick together can by using this process for this we have to gently rub uh, one slip cage over another in the lateral direction and they will uh, stick together uh, in this way you can combine one or more slip cages and it can use and you can use it as a end standard okay for comparing you can combine uh, one point there are several 87 pieces are available 1.001 to 10 or one, 1 or any other uh, slip cages 87 pieces are there in this set and you can take any two and you can for the required dimension and you can take any two or any three or any four and you can ring by the process of ringing you can join two or more slip cages together and you can use it as an end standard okay they are uh, they are invented by a Swedish engineer Johansson so they are also called as Johansson gauges so they are available in different grades workshop grades grade 2 and grade 1 tool room application grade 0 inspection grade and grade 00, zero standards room grade calibration grade special grades are available so so number of slip cages in a set is here 87 87 45 slip cages set is available 103 set is also available so answer is d so the slip cages here it is a 45 set it is of cross section 30 cross 10 mm cross section okay. uh, but the thickness is different thickness 1.0012 so different thicknesses in different thicknesses the slip cages are available now, for example if 26.125 mm a slip cage has to be built up and if um, and sometimes a protector slip cages are placed at the two ends to avoid the wear okay so two slip cages protector they are called as protector slip cages or wear blocks so they are having the standard dimensions of 1.5 mm so you have to subtract uh, 26 uh, 3 mm from 26.125 mm so we have to be, we have to build um, by the processor ringing for 23.125 mm so in the 23.125 mm in this set 1.005 uh, 1 is available ok here 103 set is not available 1.005 is available we have first you have to select 1.005 set then 1.12 set ok so you have to subtract 1.005 from 23.125 remaining dimension is 22.12 ok so you have to choose 1.12 you have to subtract 22.12 uh, 1.12 minus 1.12 which is 21 mm so 1 mm and 20 mm and two wear blocks they are also called as gauge blocks slip gauges are also called as gauge blocks so two slip gauges are joined by the process called ringing so answer is D it is not aggression it is not slipping or it is not sliding we have to slide and this process is called as ringing two slip cages are joined with the process called as ringing the appropriate instrument check to check the flatness of slip cages optical interferometer so optical interferometer is used to check the flatness of the slip cage it is not pneumatic comparator dial indicator or tool makers microscope so it is an optical interferometer answer is C, C. the device used in the calibration of slip cages is interferometer so interferometer is used to uh, used in the calibration of slip cages protector slip cages are provided uh, to clean slip cages it's not the answer uh, option a is to clean slip cages it is not correct to assemble slip cages it is not correct to facilitate ringing it is not correct to take up all wear so option d is correct uh, so protector slip cages are wear blocks so 1.5 mm at one end and 1.5 mm at the other end so so they are the uh, wear blocks then protector slip cages are uh, mounted at the center of the pile okay uh, so option a mounted at the center of the pile 
rung at the end of the pile not mounted long with the pile none of the above protector slip cages are uh, so answer is b rung at the end of the pile so at the end of the pile the two slip cages the protector slip cages are provided a thin coat of silicone is applied to applied on slip cages to ring properly okay so a thin coat of silicone is uh, provided to available on the slip cages to ring properly so which of the following is not a basic form of slip cages a rectangular square with center hole uh, circular with square hole uh, square with center hole so uh, the answer is there is uh, rectangular it is always in the form of rectangular uh, sometime uh, square with the center hole is center hole slip cages are available square without center hole slip cages are available but circular slip cages are not available so the answer is c the lateral faces of a slip cages are right are at right angles uh, to right angles correct to within that is answer is c plus or minus 10 minutes so the lateral faces of a slip cages are at right angles to correct within uh, plus or minus 10 minutes so they have an accuracy of plus or minus 10 minutes a plug gauge is used for measuring cylindrical bores plug gauge are used for measuring cylindrical bores thank you